Hey guys, so I've been wanting to make a video about why I love traveling and um, why I keep doing it or what is it, what is it that I'm looking for when I'm traveling. I've traveled a lot in the last two and a half years and what I really love about it is just continually being opened up to new experiences, new lifestyles, new art, new forms of expression. And generally when I travel, I always come back feeling extremely motivated to do the things that I love. With travel, I think I'm ultimately seeking to be re-inspired to live my life. I usually come back with that new energy and not like I don't have that energy at home, but it tends to come up when I'm traveling. And, you know, another thing is definitely feeling more grateful. After, after traveling, I just am grateful for what I have, where I'm at, the opportunities that are presented. Right now, I'm just feeling so grateful that I got this opportunity to just kind of be out here exploring and doing whatever it is that I want to do so it's that it's that fresh energy fresh perspective um, that I'm really seeking and since I have been traveling so much over the past um, few gosh few how long yeah the past two and a half years I have begun to to kind of question why I keep traveling like what is it that I have to keep doing this and I can't create this space at home? And so before I started filming this video, I was just reminded that my tiny house is that space. It's a place that I'm constantly feeling inspired to create, to um, write, to read, to make videos, to um, pursue all these ideas that are um, in my head. And so it just made me think that I've created that space within my house, within my tiny house, and yet um, I'm still traveling because um, I think I'm, I'm looking for like an all-encompassing space that I want to live. And it's not necessarily that, you know, New York or where I live is not um, home to me, but I think there's a part of me that really wants to find out, you know, where else I can find that inspiration and passion and nature and just like a constant energy flow of just wanting to create. So ultimately, I guess what I've kind of realized is that I travel for the feeling during as well as the aftermath, the afterglow of traveling and how it just kind of changes who I am and uh, you know gives me that fresh perspective and so as I'm looking into the future and I have some more traveling coming up but not a lot right now um, I'm just trying to be really conscious of where I'm spending my energy to travel because uh, there are parts of travel that's completely exhausting and travel is not cheap generally and so just trying to really think about um, places I've been and uh, places I want to go and just really making sure that it will serve this you know greater intention I have that whenever I'm traveling I'm feeling you know re-inspired to create content basically and I think I have been on a few really amazing trips where they were more like personal growth instead of um, outward growth, which is also really important. But I think right now where I'm at, I have a really good um, system to cultivating um, growth within me and that's not to say I don't need to be exposed to other opportunities and experiences in life but um, just recognizing that I have a lot of um, energy and passion for
for that right now and that most of the travel I'm looking to do in the future should really be focusing more on um, increasing my output. So that's just a little bit about why I love to travel. I also feel like it's just a constant challenge. Um, there are many places in, in life where I feel challenged in different ways, but when um, language is a barrier, when uh, maybe where you're staying, food, etc., it just makes for more memories, more stories, more life experience. So that's just a little bit about why I love to travel. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll be coming at you super soon with another video, so I hope you're having an amazing day. Life can be this good.